This has to be the most epic treehouse I have ever seen. Four stories high, surreal architecture, and this amazing tree swing. There's even a tree growing out of the third floor and what looks like a penthouse suite on top. I have to know where this is. It was curiosity that drew this guy to the treehouse. Hi, my name is Chuck Sutherland. I'm a geographer and a photographer. The Minister's Treehouse is in Crossville, Tennessee, and is arguably the world's largest treehouse. It is 97 feet tall and is supported by six different trees. The treehouse was well known to those who lived in the area, and I'd been hearing about it for some time, so I decided to see it firsthand. The tree that's poking out the third floor is actually the main support for the structure, an 80-foot tall white oak tree with a 12-foot diameter base. My first impression upon looking at the massive facade of this treehouse was simply awe. It was obvious this took a lot of labor and a lot of time to make. The treehouse was named after the man who decided to build it, Minister Horace Burgess. According to Horace, the idea for the treehouse came to him in a vision while he was deep in prayer a bit like Noah and his ark. It set him on a 14-year path to build the largest treehouse in the world. But unfortunately, the minister was no architect. It was also haphazard. There was no real plan to the construction. Admittedly, though, that's what made it more fun. Doors wouldn't lead where you thought they would. Ladders and stairs were in unexpected places. There's a basketball goal in the central room, which also doubled as a church on Sundays. All in all, the treehouse has over 80 rooms, and that structure on the top is actually a bell tower equipped with repurposed oxygen tanks which serve as bells that chime daily. It's quirky touches like this and its random architecture that made Minister's Treehouse such a popular destination. Sadly, it's also what led to its demise in 2012. It was absolutely a fire hazard and it was absolutely dangerous. Those are the things that made it fun and attracted people. It was the treehouse's haphazard construction that ultimately led to it being closed by the state of Tennessee's fire marshal. To this day, the treehouse remains closed, but over 2,000 people have signed the petition to have Minister Burgess's labor of love reopened. But without the funds to fix it, it's possible no one will ever be allowed to set foot inside this forest mansion again. Hey everyone, if you'd like to be featured on our show, send us a link to your photography website below in the comments. If you don't have a site and are looking to make one, get a domain name at domain.com. It's affordable, reliable, and easy to use. And because you watch our show, you can get 20% off new domains, web hosting, and email by using the code HAPPENED when you check out. Want to see more unique living spaces around the world? Check out this Seeker Stories episode on treehouse mansions, or this one on a tiny house built by a single mom. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.